So the Bloodline storyline is one of the greatest storyline in the history of WWE. In this video, we're gonna recap the Bloodline's whole storyline. And this all started in 2020 and today is the part 1 of the Bloodline's total storyline. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So it all started back in 2020 at SummerSlam when Roman Reigns made his shocking return, racked Bray White and Braun Strowman and left the place. Then the very next episode of SmackDown Live, Roman Reigns introduced his wise man to the WWE Universe. Then at Payback 2020, Roman Reigns had to face The Fiend and Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns defeated them for the Universal title and the historic reign of Roman Reigns started at Payback 2020. Then at September 4, in 2020, there was a fatal 4-way match for the Universal Championship contendership where Jey Uso defeated all the three superstars to earn an opportunity. Then at September 25, Jey Uso confronts Roman Reigns. You know what they say when they see me? Which one are you? And then at last, Roman Reigns hit him with a Superman punch. At Clash of Champions 2020, Roman Reigns did defeated Jey Uso for the Universal title. At October 2 in 2020, Roman Reigns asked for his acknowledgement to Jey Uso. All you had to do were to say the words, acknowledge me as the tribal chief. In an episode of SmackDown Live at October 23, Roman Reigns was attacked by Jey Uso. After that, there was the I Quit Hell in a Cell match where Roman Reigns defeated Jay. Then in the episode of October 30, 2020, Jay Uso beat the hell out of Daniel Bryan in front of Roman Reigns to prove himself. Then it was 5-on-5 five five traditional Survivor Series match where the SmackDown side lost brutally and Roman Reigns then blames Jay Uso for this losing team side. That's why Jey Uso got furious and then in this episode of Smackdown Live, he attacks on Otis brutally and beat the hell out of him. Then there was a match of Kevin Owens and Otis versus Roman Reigns and Jey Uso where Roman Reigns attacks on Kevin Owens and Jey Uso also with a steel chair. But then at December 25, 2020, Roman Reigns had to face Kevin Owens in a steel cage match where Jey Uso helped Roman Reigns to win this match. Then at April 9, 2021, Jey Uso defeated everyone to win the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. And at WrestleMania 37, it was Roman Reigns who defeated Edge and Daniel Bryan to continue his legacy. At April 30, 2021, Roman Reigns came with a new theme song. At May 7, 2021, Jimmy Uso makes his WWE return. At June 4, 2021, Roman Reigns and the Usos attacks on Dominic and Ray, but at last, Jimmy Uso walks out. At June 11, 2021, Jimmy Uso got furious on Roman Reigns and then he went to talk to Jey Uso and at last with Roman Reigns and the whole family got heated. At July 9, 2021, Jimmy Uso came to talk with Roman Reigns and Jey Uso also came in this place and the whole family got reunited. At Money in the Bank 2021, Jimmy Uso and Jey Uso own the tag team goals. At September 10, 2021, Brock Lesnar came and now the wise man is in danger. Why didn't you tell Roman I was gonna be at SummerSlam? Then at Crown Jewel 2021, Brock Lesnar lost against the Tribal Chief. At December 17, 2021, Roman Reigns questioned Paul Heyman and Paul Heyman answers that he is protecting Roman Reigns from Brock Lesnar and that's why Roman Reigns got furious and fires Paul Heyman and attacks him with a Superman punch. 
and you're fired. <laughs>